It is the Bereans class from Full Gospel Churches of Kenya coming to you. I'm your host for today by the name Josephat Kamau. Yeah, indeed, it is good and a, and a pleasure for me. I would like to start with a word of prayer for today. Let's bow down our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, dear Lord, for all the good things you have done unto us. We don't take it for granted. Dear Lord, we understand that it's your mercy, dear Father. Thank you, dear Lord. We worship you. We adore you. As we go on with our service, dear Lord, may you protect us. May be, you be with us. Let us learn your word, O oh Lord. It, and it is in Christ's name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. So let me take this opportunity to welcome the praise and worship team for the praise and worship session. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O Lord. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O Lord. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna na hata kuwepo. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna na hata kuwepo. Nimetembea, nimetembea kote, kote. Nimetafuta kote, kote. Nimezunguka kote, kote. Hakuna na hata kuwepo nimetembea nimetembea kote kote nimetafuta kote kote nimezunguka kote kote hakuna na hata kuwepo hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna na hata kuwepo Nimetembea, nimetembea Kote, kote Nimetafuta, kote, kote Nimezunguka, kote, kote Hakuna na hata kuwepo Nimetembea, nimetembea Kote, kote Nimetafuta kote kote Nimezunguka kote kote Hakuna na hata kuwepo Oh, they are the God They are the words of men But you are the most I God There is none like you Oh, the other gods, they are the works of men, but you are the most I know. There is none like you, Jehovah. 
kitu kingine Unafanya mambo ambayo Mwanadamu hawezi kufanya Unatoa faraja ambayo Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa Hau fananishi na kitu kingine Hau fananishi na kitu kingine Natanya mambo ambayo Mwanadamu hawezi kufanya Unatoa faraja ambayo Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa Haufananishi na kitu kingine Haufananishi na kitu kingine Thank you for how grateful he has been in our lives. Thank God for even this moment that he has given to us, okay, that we are standing here this moment. We are standing here this moment as the real class God has seen us through, even when we are at home. As God has protected us from this pandemic, God has seen us through everything. God has given us our parents, health, and even the breath of life. We have all testimonies to thank God for. I think just take this moment and thank God for that thing that He has done unto you. We pray to God to give you something, and God indeed did it for you. Just take your time and thank God for how good He has been, even for our teachers, for our parents, every gift that God has given us. Let's thank God for it because He's merciful and He's a wonderful God. Just think also pray for our nation. We are in a difficult moment in our nation. Ask God to come and help uh, us. Ask God to come in our rescue. And God is going to do all that we, His children, pray for. Just think for the Lord who have session and I would like to invite those with presentations to come and present them to us. We will start with Sam. My name is Samuel. I'm blessed and have a memory verse. Matthew 7 verse 7 it says, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open for you. Thank you. I'm born again and I'm saved and I have a memory verse. John 14 verse 15, it says, If you love me, you will do what I command you to do. My name is Melody Wamboy and I have a song. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, I say, no one like you. No one like you, Father, no one like you. You are the only God who is for everything. You're not a man, Lord, you're not a man, Lord. 
You are the only God who lives for everything. You're not a man, Lord. You're not a man, Lord. You are the only God who lives for everything. Thank you. Let us give them a hearty clap for they've done a good job. Now we've come to the part of receiving the word of God. Uh, let us have a positive attitude towards the teacher, towards the word of the Lord, so that we may grasp the content that he's going to give us. So let's pray. Father, we come before you. We thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Father. As we approach to listening your word, dear Lord, we pray that you may help us with wisdom and knowledge to grasp your word. It is in Christ's name we pray, believing and trusting. Mpana Yesu wa our viewers. Good morning, this morning. Um, I'm happy. My name is David Jage. I'm one of the teachers here in Zimmerman for gospel. And uh, as the way we have been told with our, our moderator today, so we are being a student of our joy class who are with us this morning. Mpana Yesu wa sana. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I want to share briefly this morning in the topic of uh, attitude. Attitude. Uh, and I want to read the Bible in the book of um, uh, uh, Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 1, and uh, chapter 2, verse 5. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. I, also, I, will, I want also to read in the book of um, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 8. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is, whatever is noble, whatever is light, whatever is admirable, if anything in, uh, is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such words. Baneswa Sana. Um, this morning, I know that upon you we have been uh, undergoing some difficulties, difficulties in, uh, in, in pertaining to the, the pandemic, what's really happening, the issue of the corona. But I know that upon him, God is still in the control and things shall be well. We should not worry, even about to cure to parallel. Remember, Kwamba. God know everything because even before we were born, God know wa, such a time it will happen. Kwaivo has just to take the, uh, I'm urging you to take things very positively or without um, any much cobbling because even if we cobbling, we cannot change the situation. But remember, Kwaba, our God is there to change each and every situation. Apart from Mesema Yakwamba, uh, Preachers 2 5. Let, has, uh, let this attitude and purpose and humble might be in you or with you, which was in Christ Jesus. There are some few things I want to ponder. Uh, one, um, uh, life is a series of uh, choices. Life is a series of, uh, uh, a series of choices that we normally make. Life is a chain reaction of choices. The choice you make today will determine the choice you make tomorrow. If you lie today, for example, then you will make a, may, uh, have to make another lies tomorrow to cover up for the lies you made today. Hallelujah. Another thing is, you are a product of your choice. What you are today is attributable to the choices you made yesterday. God has, uh, uh, God has given us the free, uh, you the freedom of choice. You can choose anything you want to do with your life. But God, uh, he has not given you the freedom to choose the consequence of your choice. There are so many things about there are so many choices that you can make in life. But there's only one thing we are not given by God, the consequence. We had very many, uh, had very many 
children from the class 8, from 4, I mean from 1, from 2, from 4 there, having babies outside their wedlock. But remember, Yakwamba, the choice that you make is very, very easy. But what about the consequence? The consequence is you have a baby, you have the academic, so you have to balance. Choice, uh, uh, life is uh, full of choices that we, that we make. Um, there's something I want to say this morning. One is, uh, there are those I want to speak about the positive thinker, uh, characteristic of a, a positive thinker person, or characteristic of a, a person who thinks positively. One, uh, one of the characteristics is they see problem as challenge. Those who have uh, a positive thinking might, so they normally see problems as a challenge, but not, they, they, they do not see problem as a big mountain, but everything that put the, uh, it came across is a challenge. And once you get challenge, we normally go before God with the prayers. Another thing is, they are, uh, 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 they are uh, open-minded. They give consideration to new idea and other people's suggestions. Whereby, the positive thinker person is a person who always, he always gives an open mind. He has a sound mind. Whereby, he gives a... Uh, uh, he, he, he welcome new ideas. Uh, he give, uh, he, he give others people uh, a provision of their suggestion. Another thing of um, uh, a positive thinker person is they count their blessing. They do not always complain about not having what they did. Or they count their blessing. They do not always complain about not having what they need. So, uh, because them, they always have the positive attitude toward everything. Like the way I've just said, uh, having Atakama to Meabiwa, Akuna Masomo, the, the entire year of 2020. But it's good to be very positive, Yakwamba. Uh, if, we, if we do not welcome this, uh, this um, the way we were told by the ministry, Akuna Masomo ya 2020. So our mind will be, will be fed with the negative things. So we are supposed to, uh, to, to take it in a very positive way, such a way that ata, 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 ata kama kutafunguriwa to say mekesho ni shule, atu takua, nobody will estate. But if you have already recorded a negative attitude, so utajipate ya kwamba in a very, in a very awkward uh, places, as the way I've just said that I'm Right is full of choice and the consequence that we normally make it. Another thing is, they apply positive ways of speaking. Nimesema ya kwamba, positive thinker, they have sound mind. They always have positive way of speaking. They don't just speak anyhow. They don't just speak ambony anywhere. Wanakuwa, wanaogea, mambo abapo imekuwa saved. Abapo nini mambo abapo ni mazuri. Another thing of um, a, a characteristic of a positive thinker is they care about self-image. They care about self-image. They are presentable in appearance, outward, and inward as well. So uh, they always protect their self-image. They don't walk in howling. They don't wear in howling. Everything about in Akua, Kwampagrio, because they care about their outward and inward. They normally take care of it. Another thing in Kwamba, they do not feed, uh, they, 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 they do not fight excuses for responsibility, but act straight. So once they are given responsibility, by, maybe by their parent, they normally take our responsibility as an act and do it straightly without giving much excuses. Another thing in Kwamba, they immediately expel any negative thought as soon as it 
uh, it closes their mind. Any negative thoughts that are it's in their mind, it's normally get the expel it. Wana ina ina potea. Baneswa siwe sana. Nepa kwamba, our future is shaped in our mind. Because whatever is in the mind, that we are born in our futures lies. Um, one of the things uh, I, I, I can tell you, our viewer, this morning is take control of your mind. For there, is, uh, for there lie the treasure of your life. Your attitude will dictate how you, how you, uh, how you live the rest of your life. Because whatever it's in your mind, remember Kwamba, as the way Wara Wampo and Asoma Asoma view a computer, we normally see this garbage in, garbage out. You cannot abolish, you cannot abolish, uh, 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 preempt him something which is not in your heart. Kwamba, whatever we feed it in your heart, we normally, we normally, tonight, your Tunatoa, Egypt. Remember, remember one, uh, people can imprison you for life, but they will never imprison your mind without your knowledge. What are some other way they want to say it? But remember, they cannot, they cannot, they cannot at all, at all, uh, imprison your mind. Garbage in, garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, change your attitude. Change your attitude. Have a positive attitude. Change your attitude concerning your life. Stop where you are and convince your mind that all is possible and, more and move ahead to risk toward achieving your dream. If you don't change your attitude, what will happen? You remain there in prison. You remain where, where you need? In prison. So you have to change your attitude and then about we move her head toward achieving your, your dream. My dream is in my, in my heart. My dream is in my mind. I like, I, I, I like this servant of God by the name Paul. Paul, Apostle Paul, is one, or, is one of the people I admire. Paul, when in prison, he, he clearly knew that um, no matter how long he stayed in jail or how much he was uh, persecuted, he was still in control of his own mind. To confirm, uh, to confirm this, we want, uh, he, he went ahead to write uh, the book of Ephesians, the book of uh, Ephesians, like the way you have just read there, which are a great inspiration to God's people. Change your attitude. My message today is change your attitude. Your attitude is a success. Your attitude, uh, your attitude, your success. If you don't transform your attitude, utajipate ya kwamba, as the younger we are, as we are in class 7, as we are in class 8, tutajipate ya kwamba, life is to become too hard for us. Continue upon it. Don't just stay home, uh, hide out there. You have your homework. You have your book. Continue doing your study. It doesn't matter to Nafugua next year. You don't need to start from scratch. Continue uh, ma making an attitude of uh, a continuity. A continuity in where we have where we have reached. Baneswa Sphere Sana. Baneswa Sphere Sana. Baneswa Sphere Sana. Change your attitude concerning your life. Stop where you are and convince you. That all is possible and you move ahead to toward achieving your dream. Because upon him, as the younger we are, uh, 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 we are the future of today and tomorrow. To cure our dog, we were told at the end of Yongosiwa, Kesho. But I want to correct that up by saying, you are the future, you are you are the leaders of who? of today. I have seen uh, of you, most of you, leading us up with a very wonderful way. 
Kumbanisi ya kwamba, you have already started. You have already started. Kwa hivyo, even tomorrow, you are becoming a very prominent people in the Republic of Kenya and beyond because you have already started. Stay in the faith of Jesus. Because mali tunasajificha peke yake is only in the faith of Jesus. Hakuna mali ingine. And if you do that, tutakua tuki, hata kama kuna wale wanafaja hivyo imesemekana in the negative part of it. God always have the remnant. And you are the remnant. Wherever you are, you are the remnant. You are the remnant. Tell your neighbor, I am the remnant. I am the remnant. Whatever the things that they are talking about, God always have there his own remnant. Mbaneswa sifiwe sana. Mbaneswa sifiwe sana. Finally, apo tumesoma ya kwamba Philippians chapter 4, as I wind up, the Bible is telling us that I'm born. Finally, brethren. Other Bible, they, 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 are, they are saying, finally, brothers. Whatever is true, remember what the Bible is giving a command here. And Paul uh, whatever is true, whatever is, is, is noble, whatever is light, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything, um, if anything is excellency or praiseworthy, think such thing. Unampia kwamba hiyo mambo tumeambiwa pale in the book of Philippians think about those things. If you want them to be the same side, think about those, th uh, those things. And the way the Bible is commanding us, uh, if there is something worthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned, whatever you have received, all ahead from me, all seen in me, but, uh, but, it, uh, but in, in, into, uh, into practice, and the, and the God of peace will be with you. Baneswa asifia sana. May God bless you. Neno litaedelea. Karibu sana mboni kiongosi ya mbao utumadisie. Tutaonana siku ingine mbao ya kisande. Uh, as we have been knowing that mboni, we have been um, bringing this, um, this uh, live, uh, live service of children ministry from Furum Gospel uh, Church of Kenya. Zimamani from 9, uh, 9.30 to through 10.45. May God bless you. Have a wonderful um, uh, 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 morning. God bless you. Oh, praise God. Praise God again. I understand it has been a beautiful sermon. And uh, I hope that each and every one of you has learned something. As for me in particular, I have learned that if you have a positive attitude, you will never let any negative thought come across your mind. And if it comes, you let it go. And I will remind you one thing that your attitude determines your altitude. I understand that the altitude is the height above sea level, but in another context, it, is, it determines your level. So you are being told that your attitude in life towards issues, it will determine the level or how far you will reach in life. Thank you. Thank you, our viewers. I pray that you may have a wonderful day as you continue rejoicing in the glory of the Lord. Thank you.